from BBI. A teacher who was killed two weeks ago in Garissa was buried today in Wingi in an emotional send-off as two other people were injured in yet another suspected Al-Shabaab attack in Wajir. Heightened terror activities have led counties to carry out a series of security meetings with Mandera now requesting additional KDF soldiers to man the border between Kenya and Somalia. And Elf, as Elfkas Lagat now reports, sporadic terror attacks are an evolving threat in northeastern Kenya despite efforts to flush out terror cells living within the local community. A somber mood engulfs Mikwa village in Mwingi East as mourners gathered to pay their last respects for Samuel Mudui, a teacher who was one of the three killed in a terror attack in Garissa County. Samuel died during a terrorist attack on the morning of 13th of January. Na tumepata mpigo mkubwa sana kwa wenzetu kuweza kuwawa na mangaidi wa shabab. But even as they laid Samuel to rest, two people were injured early this morning when suspected Al-Shabaab militants ambushed the passenger bus at Gorov Karar in Wajir. The bus driver managed to drive on for about a kilometer, averting an imminent catastrophe. The attack comes just hours after Wajia elders, leaders and security agencies from all six sub-counties met to discuss security. <laughs> kwa sababu kuna ugonjwa kati yetu inaitwa al-shabab na tutaki tuseme ukweli kama county security team tunatakana tuongee na wananchi na ndio sababu utasikia wanasiasa wapa hapa tuweke vitu yetu pamo, pamoja kwa minajili ya kusumusia maneno ya usalama katika wajia Mandera County has also resolved to include anti-terrorism studies in his educational curriculum as one of the ways of combating the evolving threat of terror in the region. Operationalize county action plan and establish a special MPR with the same level of sophisticated weapons to match that one of Al-Shabaab. Leaders from the region also want Kenya Defense Forces soldiers deployed to man the border between Kenya and Somalia from Mandera to Kiunga in Lamu County. Elfas Lagat, Citizen TV, Nairobi.